Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of Throw. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change the Sinti mesh or a Sinti character into the game animation sample. And let's go ahead and get started. And for the purpose of the tutorial, I'll be using the Polygon Dark Fantasy Pack provided by Sinti. You can check this out using my affiliate link in the description below or support me via Patreon. And let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is after importing my pack. So I'm just going to right click in the content browser, go to animation, retargeting, and then create an IK rig. And I'll call this something like um, IK underscore Sinti. Now double click to open this up. And the first one I'm going to look for is we can really do any character, any skeletal mesh. I recommend setting all of them to the same skeleton so you can easily change the mesh if you're using multiple packs. And I know most packs will have all of them already using just one skeleton. So I'll just use this SK Dark Lord character and I'll plug this in here. Now once that's plugged in, I will zoom out. And all we have to do over here on the left is just set our retarget root and root chain. So if we right click on this root, we can add a new retarget chain and it will automatically know to add the chain name as root and start and end bone will be root. So we'll go ahead and add that. And now for the pelvis, this one will usually be the new retarget root. So, and it's, and they'll tell you that because when you highlight over this, it'll say set the root bone used for retargeting usually pelvis. So that part's pretty easy. And now you can just go through these really quickly and pretty much do the same thing, but you want to do them in the groups accordingly. So for example, spine 01, 02, and 03, we'll highlight over all of them, right click, near retarget chain, and this will just be the spine. So I'll add that chain. And now clavicles will be different. Um, if you try to do the whole arm, your shoulders will get messed up and look like they're really inward. So for this clavicle underscore L, for the left, I'm just going to right click and click new retarget chain. And you're going to see it comes up as left arm. Change that arm to clavicle and just add chain. And now for upper arm, lower arm and hand, I'll highlight over all of them. I'll set the retarget chain as left arm like so. And then you can just do all the fingers separately and just click add chain three times. It'll say left index, left middle, left thumb, and you're good to go there. And same thing with the right arm and the right clavicle. So I'll change this to right clavicle, add chain, and then for the whole arm or the upper, lower, and hand, I'm going to highlight over all of them, new retarget, and add chain, and then all the fingers, and we'll add chain again for all three, and it will just add by itself. And now what I'm going to do for the neck is the neck will be alone because that'll be its own thing. So I'll just right click, retarget this, and then for the head, I'm going to do the rest. So like the head itself, the jaw, eyes, and eyebrow. I'll just right click near retarget chain and add the chains. And now I can just do my entire leg starting from my thigh to the ball underscore left to be my left leg and then thigh right to ball right near retarget chain and add chain. And that's all we need to do for our rig step by step for any Sinti character. And now I'll go back to where this is and I'm going to right click, go to animations and create an RK retargeter. So this is going to tell our this is going to tell our character which bones it should be simulating and how. According to our main orange character that we're given with the game animation sample. So I'll just call this RTG underscore Sinti, like so. I'll double click to open this up. And now for the source, I'm going to select that IKUEFN character, which is this orange guy, like so. And then for the target IK rig, I'm going to pick that. IK Sinti that we just made. And for the offset um, for the X value, I'm just going to set this something to like 180 just so they're side by side, maybe 200 because they're both going to be T posing in just a second. And all I need to do now for this is hit click source and then I'll click running retarget and then I'll auto align all bones. So now you'll see these poses should be matching. And if they're not matching correctly, then that means something in this IK Sinti that we created has gone wrong. And we can check to see if these are working properly. So I can just double click on the idols or maybe the running. And you should see the poses should match the same no matter what animation I select. So this looks correct to me. So I'm going to go ahead and just pause this animation. And now I need to actually assign it to a character. So now what I'm going to do is head over to my content and then blueprints. And you'll see our CBP sandbox character right here. And there's a folder called retargeted characters. I'll double click to open this up 
And now I'm just going to duplicate one of these guys. So the CBP sandbox character underscore Manny. And I'll call this CBP underscore Dark Lord, for example, and double click to open this guy up. And now under here on the left in the components where it says Manny, you'll see that it's using an ABP underscore generic retarget. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually rename Manny to Dark Lord. And then for the skeletal mesh, I also want to select that Dark Lord character. And you're going to see that it's not going to change just yet. So what I need to do is actually save and reopen this like so. And now he sh and now he's actually not retargeting properly. And that's just because we haven't set up the ABP generic retarget. And we also didn't change our tag. So when I search for tag in the details, you'll see an index component called RTG UEFN to UE5 mannequin. And what I actually want to change this to is the name of this folder of this IK retargeter, which we called RTG underscore Cinti. And it's not going to do anything after I rename this just yet, because I need to add this to our animation blueprint. So first I'm going to head over to ABP underscore generic retarget. And now in my details, I'm going to open up this IK retargeter map like so. And you'll see all the retargeters that are currently here. So for example, the metahuman, echo, twin blast, and so on. And I'll click this plus button to add an item to the array. And now I need to name this exactly what I'm going to name it here. So I'm going to erase this and call this RTG underscore Cinti and hit compile. And I'll just copy this and go back to my ABP generic target. And I'll name this RTG underscore Cinti. And now I need to select this retargeter that we created in our animation blueprint. So I'm just going to select that RTG underscore Cinti like so and hit compile and save. Now when I go back to my Dark Lord character, you'll see he is alive well and animating properly. So now I'll go back to my folder and it looks like he's T-posing right now, but it's totally fine. I'm just gonna hover this and use this as my default pawn class. And when I hit play, you can see that my character is working just fine. And if you think your camera's too close, you can just um, double click and move this back a little. So I'll just, Zoom this back a little, go back to my map, and you'll see that my camera has actually shifted backwards. And yeah, that's how you make any Cinti character work with the game animation sample. Thanks for watching Code of the Row. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.